Valborn Labs Methylene Blue is a known neuroprotectant. It has been shown that Methylene Blue slows down the development of many pathological processes, for example, reduces brain edema, suppresses microglia activation, and reduces inflammation and zinc toxicity, which explains the protective effect of this substance. Studies have shown that overactivated microglia increase beta amyloid and tau, and beta amyloid and tau, in turn, act as activators of microglia. It's a neuroinflammatory cascade. Neuroprotection is aimed to prevent neuronal death, regenerate neuronal network, and ameliorate the brain dysfunction as disease-modifying therapy in Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, depression, and others. Neuroprotection involves different measures including optimization of oxygenation, ventilation, blood pressure, blood sugar, body temperature, intracranial pressure, and electrolyte levels, modifying the diet to reduce or eliminate sugars and carbohydrates. A known risk factor for developing a neurodegenerative condition is obesity. Researchers have shown evidence suggesting a high sugar diet causes insulin resistance in the brain, reducing the brain's ability to remove neuronal debris, thus increasing neurodegeneration risk. Recent findings suggest that high sugar diets can lead to cognitive impairment, predisposing to neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's disease. There has been much concern regarding the role of dietary sugars, fructose sucrose, in the development of type 2 diabetes. Accumulating evidence has also demonstrated a connection between type 2 diabetes and Alzheimer's disease. The risk for developing type 2 diabetes and Alzheimer's disease increases exponentially with age, and having type 2 diabetes increases the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. In fact, some clinicians called Alzheimer's disease type 3 diabetes. Reducing neuroinflammation by using methylene blue is also another step in the right direction. For those at risk, which include those with a family history of neurodegenerative diseases, smoking or alcohol use, atherosclerosis, diabetics, lifestyle factors such as lack of physical activity, obesity, high blood pressure, early intervention is key to either preventing the disease process or reducing the risk. In our series of videos on reversible dementia, we outline the various causes of dementia and treatments available to reverse the disease process. Not all dementias are reversible, but proper diagnosis is key to developing a treatment plan and reversing the dementia whenever possible. Mild levels of hearing loss increase the risk of cognitive decline and dementia. Methylene blue should also be part of the early intervention by reducing neuroinflammation for those at risk.